Dylan, just looking over the last year that you've been in the program, where do you feel like you've improved the most? What's your growth been like in your time? For? Um, I'd say being coachable and being where the team needs me. Uh, for example, I'd say just being a player to catch the ball, being more confident and getting yak after the ball. So. Yeah, to kind of follow up on that a little bit, I know you played kind of all over the offense in high school. Just what has the transition like over the past, been like over the past year and a half of being exclusively a receiver and what have the, the challenges have that been for you? Um, so in high school, I didn't really play raw receiver, so it's been very physical, very competitive. I say that for sure. One gets the DBs that we have every day, so I say that's been the biggest change so far. So, Kirby talked about getting Marcus back in the comfort that he adds to the huddle. Um, you know, just you as a, his position mate. You know, what does that do for you getting him back in the lineup? Um, just learning from him because all my freshmen year I learned from him at AD, so that's been the main thing for sure. So. Yeah, could you, could you just talk about Coach Robert playing for BMAC and what, what it's like playing for you know, Coach Play? Uh, it's very funny. Uh, that's one of the coolest guys I know. Uh, I love him, you know, so he makes sure that I'm supposed to do what I'm supposed to do on the field, on and off the field, so, yeah, very good guy, so, yeah. Yeah, you came in with C.J. Smith. What have you seen out of him this offseason and it's sort of allowed him to get on the way where he can contribute to this team now? Oh, so C.J. is my roommate, so. Uh, he's been putting a lot of work, you know, um, when we don't have practice, we always running hills or doing a jug. So he's definitely earned everything that's coming his way. So, yeah, very good guy. Yeah, you talked about improving at being coachable. I guess one, how much did you really have to work at that when you first got here? And how much did that allow you to kind of carve out a role for yourself last year as a freshman? Uh, can you repeat that again? Yeah. When you talk about improving and being coachable, how much did you have to work at that when you first got to campus, and then how much did it allow you to, to carve out a role as a freshman last year? So i say everything is very fast paced here, you know, it's a big switch from high school, you know, especially with the heat. So just having the heat and then your coach making sure, like getting on your tail and stuff like that, it just, it helped me a lot, you know, especially when it came to like big moments last year in the game, you know, so it's basically like not letting the moment get too big when all the pressure is on and everything like that, so. What do you think the mindset is of this team heading into week two, uh, you know, after your week one showing? Uh, obviously, you guys got a big win, but um, probably some areas you want to get better at. Uh, I definitely say um, connection and composure, for sure. Um, we always talk about that. That's when our team goes that we want to do, so I say that for sure. Uh, Dylan, Kai Muse made a lot of plays out there last week. What can you say about sort of the rise he's had on this team and what you expect from him going forward after, uh, throughout the season? Um, There's one thing that I like to tell him, and that is uh, God did. Um, when I first got here, he always been like one of those dudes. I'm like, who is this guy, you know? And he's just a very, he's a special player, you know? He definitely deserves everything, you know? When he scored the touchdown, you see I was right there. I was, you know, giving him all the uh, hype and stuff, so. Yeah, he deserves everything. One of the hardest working guys I know for sure. So. Yeah, Carson told us he was a little nervous making that first start. What have you seen from him in practice this week as he seems to have now sort of gotten his feet down and knows that, you know, the rhythms that come with being a starting quarterback? Um, Carson is Carson. He's going to be that guy for sure, you know. Um, he has his confidence, you know, once he's rolling, he's rolling. So I say that for sure. Dylan, last year, did you have a welcome to Georgia moment, something that happened in practice or anything like that? It was like, all right, it's a little bit different than uh, high school. Um, okay, I'll say it was against Kent State. Um, I was on KOR, and I got beat every single play. Like, every single KOR rep, I got beat. I was supposed to dead book, and coming to do film that Monday was very bad, so I'll say that for sure. Is there a, a moment as a young player where being coached hard feels a little different? I don't know what your background was as a high school football player, but seemed to be coached really, really hard here at the University of Georgia. What's the key to taking coaching, I guess? Um, I'll say there's learning. Um, you're going to get developed. Uh, I had to, that's one of the things I'm, um, that's my goal for this week. I have goals for myself, and that's my main goal this week is to just be developed. And once you be developed, you're going to play without thinking, and then you'll make plays. So. Dylan, we've seen you back there with kickoff returns. Some, in your mind, what is the key to being a good kickoff returner and being a weapon in that area of the game? 
I'd say um, vision and just hitting the hole. That's what Coach Cox said. You hit the hole, you're going to make a play. So I say that. When you say your goal for this week is being developed, what does accomplishing that goal look like? How will you know that you have been developed? Um, so far, uh, my um, for development is like blocking for me. Um, Coach BMAT has been on my tell about it every day at practice, and uh, it's been working so far. You know, I've been doing what I'm supposed to do, and hopefully, you'll see it in the game against Ball State this week. Yeah, talking uh, specifically about Marcus, what were some of the things in particular you learned from him last year? You're trying to come in and learn the ropes here. One, uh, I'll say definitely uh, catching the traffic. Um, and releases for sure. I learned a lot about his releases and learning how to catch the ball even when um, the defender is on you for sure. So, and coming back negative to the ball when running routes. So, Coach, what led you from Texas to here? What was the connection to the football to Jordan? Uh, Ad Mitchell and the coaching staff for sure. But Ad, uh, we went to the same middle school. And I used to uh, train with him in high school as well, so he always been a guy I looked up to from a young age. So I definitely say that for sure. So that's a pretty easy follow up here. What did his departure from this program mean? Uh, it meant a lot, you know. That was that was like my best friend here my freshman year. I was like, dang, you know. Um, it was very sad, and you know, I was with him before he left for like a long time. We we're just talking to chop it up, but um, I know he's gonna do good things at Texas, so. Did AD try to get you to go with him to Texas? Uh, first question. Second, uh, did you did you were there some discussions of you playing running back when y'all got real thin there during camp for a while? All right, to um, answer the first question, uh, no sir, he didn't really try. You know, um, he didn't try, and I'm just going to play wherever the team needs me. If, uh, Coach Smart or um, Coach McGee asked me to go, then I do that. I do whatever they need me to do. So, did you ever go over there? Did you ever work with the back? Yes, sir. You mentioned Marcus and AD as people that you learned a lot from last year. What is it that you felt like you took from Marcus's game specifically? Um, I say catching, like catching the ball when the play needs to be, um, especially the third downs. Um, I know last year I made some plays on um, third downs, and even this past uh, weekend. So I definitely learned a lot from Marcus doing that at practice every day, and I kind of like just took advantage of that. More questions? Okay. Thanks, Thanks Dylan. No problem, no problem.